It has been a violent few days, and we begin with what deputies are calling an unprovoked random attack in Shoreline. Good evening. I'm Dave Wagner. I'm Monique Minglavin. Now, the victim was in his own driveway, just feet away from home, when he was stabbed in the back. Police tracked that suspect to the Linden Highlands Apartments off North 175th Street. They shot and killed him there. Kara Sevens Jessica O oh is live now in Shoreline, and Jessica, that neighborhood is in shock. Absolutely, Monique, and that's because there really isn't a lot of police activity on 175th, which really isn't normal for this area. But neighbors say what scares them the most is knowing that there was a suspect who was out here randomly targeting anyone he could find. Very sobering. Very sobering. This shoreline neighborhood doesn't see a lot of violence. Yelled so when Bill Frisk heard the homeowner down the street was randomly stabbed while taking his dog on a walk. Very sad, very unusual though. He couldn't help but wonder if he could have been a victim too. I usually go for walks at that time and I take that route. So if I had been on my usual routine of walking, I would have likely encountered that suspect. This is the knife King County detectives say the suspect used to stab the 62 year old victim and his German Shepherd Thursday morning. We're told they made it all the way back to the driveway, then turned around, shocked to see the man with a knife. There, nothing was even said before he was stabbed. He just noticed that somebody was following him that he'd never seen before. The suspect ran and tried to stab another neighbor before deputies confronted him by this apartment complex. The man is in his 20s and was shot and killed. Neighbors say they heard repeated warnings. I hear Drop the knife, drop the knife, and then rapid fire. If somebody comes at me with a knife, I can't do anything. Neighbors say they've seen the suspect in the area and say the stabbing and shooting are real reminders of what could happen in any neighborhood. Should I look into protecting myself? Because if I do resume my walking in the mornings, um, I'm defenseless. Certainly leaving neighbors with a lot of concerns tonight. And we know that 62 year old victim, by the way, is recovering in the hospital. His dog is also recovering, and both are expected to be just fine. And we are still waiting to learn more information on that suspect. But for now, reporting live in Shoreline, Jessica O, Cairo 7 News.